Our goal is not just an environment of clean air, clean water, and scenic beauty. The objective is an environment of decency, quality, and mutual respect for all living creatures and all human beings. You know who said that? Gaylord Nelson on the very first Earth Day. Hey, that's pretty cool, but what exactly did all of that mean? I thought Earth Day was about recycling and turning off the lights. Well, that's part of it. Earth Day is about taking care of the environment, but there's a lot more to it than that. Here, let me show you. Earth Day started as a way to educate people about the environment and to inspire them to create a better environment to live in. So yeah, that means don't waste water. Turn off the lights when you exit a room. And put your trash where it belongs. But do you know what else it means? It's all about respecting all other living creatures like plants, animals, and other people. We all want to live in a world where we breathe clean air, drink clean water, and live happy, healthy lives. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. We all live on this planet, so we should all take care of it. But I'm still confused on one thing. What's up? What does Gaylord Nelson have to do with Earth Day? He has everything to do with it, I guess. He's the one that started Earth Day way back in 1970. He's even referred to as the father of Earth Day. Wow, creating an international holiday seems like a lot of work. How do you do that? Here, let me show you. He grew up right here in Wisconsin, playing outdoors, which sparked his interest in the environment. When he grew up, he went to law at the University of Madison. The building looked a lot different back then, though. Whoa, can we stop all this jumping? It's making me dizzy. That's fine, we're at our last stop, the Wisconsin Capitol building. In 1958, he became governor of Wisconsin, and from there he became a U.S. state senator. Okay, sounds fancy, but what does a senator even do? Lots of things. As senator, he created national hiking trails, and he helped pass many environmental laws, like the Clean Air and Waters Act. Well, I'm for sure getting my fair share of environmental education today. Being educated about the environment is a huge step in making a difference. Nelson was actually inspired by college students hosting teach-ins. That's when he decided to plan one big teach-in to educate people about the environment. You can imagine his surprise when 20 million people showed up to class. Just kidding, but 20 million people did participate around the country on the very first Earth Day. Yeah, it's nice to see so many people caring about the environment and wanting to know how to make it better. And Gaylord Nelson gave them a way to start and get involved. So how do you want to celebrate Earth Day this year? I don't think there's any other issue viewed in its broadest sense which is as critical to mankind as the issue of the quality of the environment in which we live. 